Unlike many other forms of social media, YouTube monetizes its videos and allows creators to become professionals almost overnight. But there's a huge pressure to create quality content, and sometimes creators struggle to meet the public's high standards. When this happens, viewers are quick to make their opinions known through comments and dislikes. Today we are counting down the top 10 most disliked videos on YouTube. Logan Paul is one of the most prominent vloggers in the world. He grew to prominence on Vine before landing acting gigs on Law & Order Special Victims Unit and Weird Loners, and roles in films The Thinning and The Space Between Us, among others. On December 31, 2017, Paul uploaded a vlog to his YouTube channel depicting the recently deceased corpse of a man who had committed suicide by hanging in Aokigahara Forest at the base of Mount Fuji in Japan, known as the Suicide Forest due to its infamy as a suicide site. Initially intended to be part three of his Tokyo Adventure series, Paul and his group had planned to camp in the woods, but in response to finding the corpse decided to notify the authorities and cancel their plans. The video gained 6.3 million views within 24 hours of being uploaded. The video was criticized heavily for its lack of sensitivity toward mental illness, and the public demanded an apology from Paul. What followed was his video entitled So Sorry. He apologized for his actions, asking for his fans to stop defending him and promised to do better in the future. Apparently the public was not convinced with his apology, because the video accrued 2.3 million dislikes, making it the 10th most disliked video on YouTube. Cortando o botado YouTube, or cutting the YouTube button, seems like an odd video to get so many dislikes. It's a homemade video from Brazilian YouTube star Aruan Felix, who succeeded in breaking and cutting in half the YouTube silver button, which is given to YouTubers who reach 100,000 subscribers. Having only been posted in December of last year, it's surprising this simple depiction of a young kid trying to saw an award in half could get so many dislikes so quickly. Some speculate that viewers felt the YouTube star was ungrateful. However, the video has some pretty impressive stats. In only one day, the video went viral. The the video reached 50,000 comments after 10 hours. By December 23, 2015, the video reached 200,000 dislikes, reaching the award of most disliked video in shortest time period on YouTube. Many YouTubers made videos talking about Aruan Felix's attitude, and the video gained attention of the Brazilian media. On December 26, 2015, the video reached 1 million dislikes, becoming the first Brazilian video to reach 1 million dislikes. The video is currently the ninth most disliked video on YouTube, with 2.5 million dislikes. How It Is, Wap Bap, is a song by the German web video producer Bianca Heineke, better known as Bibi, from the YouTube channel Bibi's Beauty Palace. The song is in English and was released on May 5, 2017 by Warner Music. The corresponding music video is the most disliked video on any German YouTube channel. It's hard to put your finger on what exactly makes this song so atrocious. Maybe it's the saccharine sweet acoustic guitar melody, the bizarre strange lyrics. For example, don't even get to keep the cat, but that's just how it is. I get up late, I stub my toe, I've got a few missed calls, I lost my job? I don't know, that's not good at all. Or perhaps it's the inextricably balloon-strewn set design for the video clip. Luckily for BBH, every cloud has a silver lining. Despite all the negativity, I think it was an unexpected success, she told Metro. In the first 24 hours, the music video reached the 10 million views mark, and now it's scaling up to almost 40 million. However, it's hard to deny that the song is pretty terrible. BB has compared herself to other divisive pop icons like Justin Bieber and Miley Cyrus, but it's unlikely she'll find their success. The song currently has 2.9 million dislikes. Rebecca Black's 2010 single Friday is considered by many to be one of the worst songs in history. From its vapid lyrics to its heavily auto-tuned vocals and simplistic beat, Friday has all the makings of a truly terrible song. The story goes that Black's mom paid a local company called the Ark Music Factory to write and record a song for her daughter. Black was just 13 years old when she released the video and became an overnight YouTube sensation. It's been viewed over 128 million times. However, much of the attention Black received wasn't positive. She endured so much taunting and bullying from classmates that she left her Anaheim Hills, California school to be homeschooled by her mother. One minute I was a normal girl, and then in the next, millions of people knew who I was and they were ruthless in hurling the most vile words my way," she added in the essay. Clearly these sentiments were reflected in the video's comments and likes. The song currently has 3.3 million dislikes, against 1 million likes. Despite the lack of love, the song has become something of a cult classic, with covers by Justin Bieber and the cast of Glee. Despacito is by far the most watched video in human history, with 5.8 billion views. The Undeniable Earworm by Puerto Rican singer Louis Fonzi, featuring Puerto Rican reggaeton rapper Daddy Yankee, topped the Hot 100 for 16 consecutive weeks, tying with One Sweet Day by Mariah Carey and Boyz II Men as the longest leading number one single in the chart's history. Despacito was the best selling and most streamed single of 2017 in the United States, with 2.6 million downloads sold and 1.3 billion video and audio streams, adding up to a combined total of 6,660. 
63,000 sales, plus track equivalent audio streams. It was also the sixth most played song of 2017, with 608,000 spins across US radio stations and an audience of over 3 billion. Needless to say, the song was huge, but there can certainly be too much of a good thing. The public seemed to decide they'd reached saturation point after the song became ubiquitous. Though the song went on to win three Grammys, many music fans were sick of the repetitive melody following them everywhere they went. In the end, it garnered 3.1 million dislikes, but the song is much more beloved than it is hated. It also has 31 million likes. Call of Duty is one of the biggest video games in the world. As of February 2016, the first-person shooter series has sold over 250 million copies. Sales of all Call of Duty games topped 15 billion US dollars. So it came as a surprise when their official trailer for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare completely tanked. But many viewers, millions of them, have expressed their displeasure with the futuristic Call of Duty by giving the video a thumbs down. With 3.7 million dislikes and growing, the overwhelmingly negative response has made Infinite Warfare's trailer one of the most disliked videos on YouTube. Many of the complaints from YouTube commenters center on the futuristic sci-fi bent the producer decided to take with 2016's entry. Infinite Warfare features space travel and battles on distant planets, and many viewers have been making unkind comparisons to franchises like Halo and Star Wars, saying they'd prefer a more grounded, realistic Call of Duty. The two most recent Call of Duty games, Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare, also featured futuristic settings, but kept the action on Earth. Activision's CEO responded to the negative reaction, stating, You gotta love the passion of gamers. This is an industry like no other, and a fan base like no other. We love that our fans treat this franchise like their own and have such strong points of view about it. There just aren't many entertainment franchises on Earth that can generate the kind of passion that Call of Duty can, and that's a good thing. At 75 million subscribers and counting, PewDiePie is YouTube's most popular star by a landslide, a fact that the 29-year-old also tends to ridicule and undermine at every turn. Past stunts include ranting against YouTube for failing to deliver his diamond play button, getting purposely unverified on Twitter, and threatening to delete his channel at the 50 million subscriber milestone, which ultimately turned out to be a joke. PewDiePie's latest mission is to become the proprietor of one of the most disliked videos on all of YouTube. The challenge, posed by a ranting PewDiePie in a video uploaded on Christmas Eve titled, Can This Video Get 1 Million Likes? seems to be a knock against YouTube's changing algorithms. The video starts with Felix taking a fake phone call from Google, which owns YouTube. They talk about his achievements and his responsibilities after reaching 50 million subscribers. Apparently likes don't mean shit, Felix says at the end of the clip. We've been liking videos for nothing. Fantastic. Now it's all about watch time and making you keep watching more videos. No one really knows what's going on at YouTube anymore. As of now, the video has 3.8 million dislikes and counting. We've already met Logan Paul in this countdown. Now it's time to look at his brother, Jake. Jake Paul is not known as a rapper or even as a musician of any kind. Instead, he's known for his viral videos and his massive vlog channel, which has more than 17 million subscribers on YouTube. Paul was first made famous by playing the role of Dirk on Disney Channel's Bizarre Vark, but he reached new levels of fame on the now defunct video site Vine. By the time Vine shut down, Jake Paul had 5.3 million followers and 2 billion plays on the app. On January 5, 2017, Paul was among the invited guests at an event at the White House centering on social media. As a stunt for his YouTube vlog channel, he hid in a bathroom room there before sneaking out of the White House at 3.30 a.m. without being confronted by security. Because he's famous for comedic videos and general hijinks, it made him even stranger when he released his rap song It's Every Day Bro on May 30, 2017. The song took aim at YouTuber PewDiePie and Paul's former girlfriend Alyssa Violet. The song received a negative response, making it the third most disliked YouTube video of all time, with 4 million dislikes. Many describe the production as generic, with an unoriginal beat and hook, and the lyrics are what you'd expect from a white kid from Ohio, for better or worse. Some head scratchers include I just dropped off some merch and it's selling like a god church, and we shoot it with a gun, the tattoo just for fun. However, it still made Paul a ton of money. The song reached number 91 on the Billboard charts and currently has 225 million views. Justin Bieber is a divisive figure in pop music. Though he's adored by his massive factions of believers, he is also critically panned by many music fans. His 2010 hit Baby is a perfect example of this paradox. It was once the most watched video on YouTube and currently boasts more than 2.3 billion views, making it the 29th most viewed video on the site. It's also the second most disliked video on YouTube, with 9.9 .9 million dislikes. However, compared to YouTube Rewind, which had almost 85% negative reviews, Baby has a more even ratio, with over 10 million likes. Though he was young at the time of its release, many people criticized Baby for its shrill, high-pitched vocals and uninventive melody, but that won't prevent believers from supporting it for years to come. Ludacris, who has a feature in the song, said that the video is like a 2010 version of Michael Jackson's The Way You Make Me Feel. Bieber said that the video will capture the song's message of trying to woo back a girl. In explaining the concept of the video, Bieber said, It starts off, I really like this girl, but we didn't get along, we couldn't be together. Basically, I want her back and I'm kind of going through the whole thing. I'm chasing her around, trying to get her, and she's kind of playing hard to get, but I'm persistent. I keep going 
going. For whatever reason, many viewers were dissatisfied with this narrative. YouTube Rewind is a recap show which the video sharing site produces annually to highlight the best content of the past year. Since 2011, these videos have proven successful, with most receiving praise and well over 100 million views. But to say that this year's YouTube Rewind didn't go over well with the YouTube community would be quite an understatement. The video is officially the most disliked video on the platform. It has more than 10 million dislikes, overtaking Justin Bieber's 2010 song Baby, which has just under 10 million dislikes. While it took Bieber's video approximately eight years to rack up that dislike count, YouTube Rewind beat it in closer to eight days. Many YouTubers deemed it the worst rewind ever. Criticisms range from the inclusion of celebrities and personalities who are not affiliated with YouTube, such as Will Smith, Ninja, John Oliver, and Trevor Noah, as well as the exclusion of certain acts that had a large impact on the platform but were deemed controversial, such as Shane Dawson, KSI vs. Logan Paul, and PewDiePie, the first having made a viral documentary focusing on Jake Paul, the second being one of the most successful live events in YouTube and amateur sporting history, and the third having gained over 5 million subscribers in a single month through the combined efforts of numerous YouTubers and fans in response to the search of subscribers for the T-Series YouTube channel. Needless to say, YouTube need to make some major improvements in the next year. Honest feedback can suck, but we're listening and we appreciate how much people care, said a YouTube representative. Fans will be sure to let them know if they don't live up to 2019's expectations.